Hi, I'm Phil. Welcome to Holy Habitus. Today I'd like to talk a little bit about prayer and particularly the transformative power of prayer. Now, I come from the Baptist tradition and as such, um, one of the key features of that tradition is activism. We're all about rolling up our sleeves, getting stuck in, um, doing God's work, ministry and mission in the world, programs, projects, getting out there, getting it done. And uh, that's a, a, a really good a strength of, of the tradition. But of course, every strength has a weakness. And sometimes it means that we're more about doing than we are about being. Um, it also is played out in our prayer life so that when we pray, often we have an emphasis that's activist in nature. It's about intercession and and seeking God and petitioning him to help us do the stuff and change things in the world. And that's really good. But again, there's a, there's a weakness to the strength. And that is that sometimes we neglect the contemplative side of prayer. We don't necessarily stop and put aside our checklist and our petitions and allow God to speak to us and allow God to communicate his presence to us and allow God to change us. And, and so sometimes, we, we don't do that and I think that's really important actually that we need to make time for prayer without agenda time where we just allow God to be with us and we with him uh, I've been reflecting recently about how uh, that verse in 1 John says there is no fear in love and perfect love casts out fear um, because I recognize that one of the things that often hinders me in ministry and in my external work as an activist are actually things that come from my inner life, my inner world. There are other things that trip me up externally, actually have their source and flow from my heart. Um, they come from the fears and the insecurities that are buried deep within me. We often think it's about oh, that obstacle or that thing, but actually it flows from a problem within. And, and one of the key remedies of the problems of the inner world is prayer. And one of the things that stops me in particular is fear, fear of others, fear of rejection, fear of getting it wrong. And fear is connected to an idol inside me, the idolatry of being liked or being successful. And, and actually to dissolve those idols and to dismantle that fear, I need to accept God's perfect love. And I believe that, that one key way of doing that is to allow God to communicate his love to me and to make space, to open up, to perforate my life with um, pockets of time where I can just receive God's love and so the challenge this week is would you join me in just sitting in God's presence making prayer a priority but putting aside those checklists for a bit just to receive and absorb and marinate in God's unconditional and wonderful love